Hey guys, this is Madsen here. In this video, I will show you how to complete the Balance of Power questline from the Legion expansion, which rewards an artifact appearance at the end. It is pretty long, taking three weeks to complete on average, give or take four. You gotta run raids in Mythic Dungeons. There are also prerequisite quest lines and reputations must get done for some parts of his quest chain. Which is why I made a guide for this after all. To start, you must have completed your Class Hall campaign, after which you will find Archmage Kalik, or an image of him for non-mages, in your Order Hall. He starts a quest named The Power Within. This sends you to Azure Wing Repose at Azuna to talk to Senegos. However, to complete this quest, you must first complete a few quest signs in that zone. You will start those at Illidari Stand in Azuna with Into the Fray. You must complete all the following quests up to and including Dark Revelations. After that, you accept the quest Journey to the Repose, from Archmage Khadgar. Then another few quests later, except the last of the last from Senegos going forward, complete quests all the way until Hunger's End. This is where you turn in the power within. Then get Eye of Ajara, the Heart of Zinajari from Senegos. This sends you to Eye of Ajar in Azuna. A small note here, you must kill two Hate Quail Arcanists to engage Lady Hate Quail. Then you will find the Heart of Zin Ajari next to where the final boss, Wrath of the Jara, will be. To fight him, kill all those nearby Naga channeling onto him. Upon turning in the quest, you will be given another three quests, of a Glorious Past, Tempering Darkness, and Dark Heart Thicket, Fallen Power. Tempering Darkness needs you to give Kaelic 30 Blood of Sargeras, which can be obtained from just about anywhere in the Broken Isles, including dungeons, gathering professions like Herbalism and Mining, and War Quest. A Vainglorious Past has you buy the Vainglorious Draft from Veritas Fallon at the Cromwell Palace in Central Azuna. The item requires Honored with Court of Herondis. Reputation with them, like other Broken Isles factions, can be obtained through questing and world quest. Fallen Power needs you to kill Oakheart, the second boss of Darkheart Thicket, and loot corrupted essences from him. By the way, just a little note here. Make sure that when you're doing these dungeon quests to kill the final boss, because that is an objective for all of them. I suppose that was added to make sure no one leaves the group after they get their quest done. Because that's super fucking annoying, I'll tell you what. Once you complete those three quests, you will then get Lucid Strength, where a little RP event happens after you click on the heart to absorb Oakheart's essence. But that isn't enough. You must then venture into the Emerald Nightmare after getting the quest Emerald Nightmare, Essence of Power, and Emerald Nightmare in Nightmares. The former requires you to obtain 30 Corrupted Essences from the bosses in the raid. The latter has you loot the Death Glare Iris and the Horn of the Nightmare Lord from Ilganoth and Xavius, respectively. The Essences are RNG dependent, usually requiring at least two lockouts to complete this quest unless you are lucky. As you notice, I was three short of completing the quest, so I had to wait till the week after to complete these. On a side note, you can sometimes loot Seething Essences, which contain five Corrupted Essences each. Oh yeah, and also you can only do these on one difficulty a week. You can't get them on Mythic and then, and then run it again the same week on Heroic. It ain't gonna work. Once that is done, you get Essential Consumption, which is similar to Lucid Strength, wherein you click on the heart and an RP event occurs. Judging by this sight, we are still not ready to embrace its power. Hence, we must seek more help. 
who accepts saving the guard, which leads you to Surmar. But WAIT! We must complete a quest line, and that requires ANOTHER quest line! If you don't have that covered, go to Dalron in the Broken Isles, then speak to Cadgar in Violet Citadel on the western side of the city, and start Magic Message. After some RP, pick up Trail of Echoes, which teleports you to Suramar. Then complete at least 30 quests afterwards, and you'll finish the Veilwalker's Burden, which then awards the achievement Nightfallen But Not Forgotten. I don't think you need to complete the whole thing to unlock all the quests in Suramar, but it does unlock some extra world quests in Suramar, which you might want because you need Revered with Nightfallen for one of the quests in the Balance of Power quest chain. Besides, you will at least want to complete the quest with Chief Telements or Oculeth who, to unlock teleporters in the zone. There are two of them at crucial places. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, you still need to complete the Moonguard Stronghold questline. This starts in Northwestern Suramar with Fate of the Guard, then complete a bunch of other quests up to and including Last Stand of the Moonguard. If you have teleporters unlocked, don't forget to take the one near that spot. Just be sure to have 100 ancient mana with you. This currency can drop from every mob in his own, and even has nodes, much like mining and herbalism. Now you have saving the guard completed, then you get the quest Lost Knowledge, which has you buy the scroll of the Lungers from First Arcanist Felicera. You need to be revered with Nightfallen for this quest, like I said before. Again, do quest and war quest for the reputation. When you buy the scroll, you have three tasks next. The Arcway, Rite of the Captain, Court of Stars, Literary Perfection, and Vault of the Wardens, Borrowing Without Asking. We will start with the Arcway. First, let me show you how to get there, as you must go inside an underground complex first. After you reach the Meeting Stone, the Big Rock thing, you go straight, then the left, and there's the Arcway! This dungeon works a peculiar way. You have to follow a specific path of bosses which alternates every week. After killing those four bosses, you have unlocked Advisor Vandros. He drops the Eon Winder for Right of the Captain. Just be sure to not have already done this whole dungeon earlier in the week on Mythic. I learned that the hard way back in my high school freshman year. Then, on to the Court of Stars for literary perfection. First, you have to take a gondola to a dock. Then, from there on, you do the dungeon. After the first boss, go to the stairs where you see a door. Then take a right, and there is wards, sigils, and the Nightborn Way. Now, we're not done here yet, because the dungeon has a few gimmicks. One is the second boss, Talixay Flame Reef. She has these three demons with her. There are two ways to deal with them. One is a brute force strat, as shown here. This will require either a lot of self-healing, or a lot of damage. Mages normally have no self-healing except for the Conduit Cryo-Freeze, where Ice Block heals them to full. For those who either don't have a lot of damage or self-healing, or just want to play it safe, you need to kill these Fellbound Enforcers, which will summon one of three guards upon death. Then kill that guard, repeat until they are all dead, at which point Talixe is a pushover, depending on your level, of course. Now here is the other gimmick, which is really annoying. You need to catch a spy in the party here. To do that, you must talk to five chatty rumor mongers to gather details about the spy in disguise. If you don't have an add-on like deadly boss mods or big wigs, or some weak aura, you will have to memorize the details yourself. Follow them, and you'll out the spy. Who takes you to one of two balconies, then they reveal themselves as a dreadlord, which you kill. You then pick up some keys, and they open the door to Advisor Melandris. For Demon Hunters, after talking to all five rumor mongers, they can instead cast Spectral Sight, and the spy will be highlighted in red. As for Vault of the Wardens, for borrowing without asking... Eh, you just kill the first boss, then proceed until you hit the first elevator, at which point you will see Containment Crystal. You do have to complete the whole instance for the quest to recomplete, though. But there's nothing too out of the ordinary from then on. When all three of those are finished, then you have Twisted Power. This sends you to Western Azuna at the Altar of End Times. You need to make a greater portal stone, but how? You gotta grind your ass off on these demons round here for these here Legion portal fragments. You need five of these to make the stone. Once the stone is made, use it at this portal here. This summons Red Archimon. 
Just kidding, his name is Vizul the Twisted. Once you kill him, loot his corpse for twisted rune bindings. Then you pick up a true test. This works just like Lucid Strength and Essential Consumption from before, in which you click on the further empowered heart of Zinajari and an RP event happens, although this time your channeling bar says Absorbing Power instead of Absorbing Essence. You nearly get killed by this. Then you accept Seeking the Valkyra, at which point you go to Stormheim to talk to a shielder. There are no prerequisite quests for her, thank god. But for the next quest, the Mark, you must get revered with the Valarjar. And afterwards, you go straight into the vault behind her. Stand on a giant golden rune on the platform, then target Ayir and slash Neil. To gain Revered, I recommend doing Story Quest and World Quest in Stormheim, and I heard running to dungeons in the zone gives rep. Fortunately, this is where the rep requirements and the quest lines stop. Now you got the quest, Maw of Souls Retrieving the Zvongard. You must go to the Maw of Souls dungeon. After killing the first boss, you click on this horn, which takes you onto this ship. Proceed into the halls until you find a shield called the Zvongard. Then just run the dungeon until you're done. After that run, you go back to a shield there and get the quest of Feast Fit for Odin and Neltharion's Lair presentation is key. The former requires you to get meat and bones from Thunderhorn and Stormheim, Spine Sever and High Mountain, and Lay Tusk and Izuna. The latter has you go to Neltharion's Lair and High Mountain, then in the final boss's room, there are these Adamantium casing scraps, for which you have to pick up. These are very important for Odin's feast. Why? It's a strong metal. You would pick that for a dinner plate, wouldn't you? After turning those in, you now have the quest Halls of Valor, Odin's Blessing, where you go into the Halls of Valor and, obviously, get his blessing. Doing that requires placing the feast at the start of the instance, then going on killing bosses until you get to Odin himself after God King Skolvald. After defeating Odin, make sure to stay until the quest criteria is complete, or else you will not get credit. Now that you're done with that portion of the chain, you get to preparing to move from Archmage Kalik, sending you back to Shalron and Suramar. This is the home stretch of the Balance of Power quest chain. You are then given the Nighthold into the Nighthold, the Nighthold Delusions of Grandeur, and the Nighthold Darkness Calls. Into the Nighthold needs 20 Night Shards. Like Corrupted Essences from Emerald Nightmare, these drop from bosses in the Nighthold. Because you only need 20, however, they are also more RNG dependent than the Essences. Sometimes bosses will not drop any at all, but also they sometimes drop Inaculate Night Shard Curios, which contain multiple shards. Getting all these may take you two weeks depending on your luck. Delusions of Grandeur has you pick up the Trilliax Core from Trilliax, and the Millennia Tome from Grand Magistrix Elisand. The last quest here is Darkness Calls, in which you collect an Eye of Gul'dan from Gul'dan, the final boss of the raid. Now that we have all that out of the way, it is time to make over our artifact weapon. Just go to the Lunar Crucible in Northern Suramar. Of course, but the entire stronghold is still crawling with Nightborn. Then I suppose we'll have to ask them to leave. I'll secure the heart and meet you there. The Moon Guard should have the area secured when we arrive. Just for a little while. We are 
ready to begin when you are. Elul Fala Shema. Vishnu Tala Kaldora. Con velora. Alun Orin Torel. Now is your moment. Unleash the power hidden deep within. It worked! It really worked! Greetings! Thank you for the truly incredible journey. If you ever long for another adventure, you know where to find me. This also comes with four different tints. Aside from the base color, there is one from completing the achievement Unleashed Monstrosities, another from completing a plus 15 Mythic Keystone, and one from getting the achievement Glory of the Legion Hero. That is it, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video, because you will get a cool trance mug at the end. Have a great day, and I will see you again eventually.